The, this actually, you know, at, at the end of the day, this wasn't that difficult of, of a thing to come up, a decision to come up with. If you look at the state of the law in Maryland, it's quite clear that we have recognized marriages that we otherwise wouldn't recognize in the state of Maryland from other jurisdictions. I'll give you two examples. We don't have a common law marriage in the state of Maryland yet. We recognize common law marriages from other states here in Maryland, and we do it every day. We had another case that's cited in the opinion from Rhode Island where an uncle married his niece. And we recognize that marriage as being valid here in the state of Maryland, even though that would be considered to be incest here in Maryland. The only time we did not recognize in the history of our state a marriage that was validly uh, consummated in another state was that between blacks and whites. And that was uh, because at that time it was actually criminal for African Americans and, and Caucasians to get married. That obviously was overturned in 1961, and I think the whole issue of marriage equality was overturned eventually here in the United States.